Good evening, everybody. My name is Hugh Dunn. I direct the South Coast Development Partnership. It's my pleasure to kick off uh, this evening's program. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Secretary Ash for his continued partnership with the region and our organization. Uh, his door has always been open to the partnership, and he's always looking for ways to help us leverage uh, the great assets that we have in southeastern Massachusetts. Uh, from commercial fishing to coastal tourism, marine engineering, uh, the recent EDA award, and today uh, we had the uh, lease signing at the Marine Commerce Terminal in New Bedford between Vineyard Wind and the Mass Clean Energy Center. Uh, it is quite evident that uh, there is a, a thriving blue economy corridor in uh, southeastern Massachusetts. Uh, the work that's supported by the program that is being supported by uh, Secretary Ash and the Baker Polito administration, uh, as well as the EDA, will help us brand the region as a marine science and technology supercluster. It'll help us train our workforce for these jobs of the future, and it'll help us drive innovation and in research. Uh, when the Chancellor first joined the university, he spoke about growing the pie, the region's economy. And when you look around the room, uh, between the partnership board members here, uh, the administration and the university, it becomes apparent that we have the right ingredients to grow the pie. Uh, tonight's agenda will be quick. After all, we have an open bar. Um, uh, there are many uh, partnership investors in Moby Dick, and I can see the wheels turning about open bar receptions at Moby Dick. Maybe we'll talk about it in the future. Um, <laughs> but tonight we'll hear from SCDP co-chair Dave Slutes, Chancellor John Johnson, and Secretary Ash. I'd also like to acknowledge Under Secretary John Chapman. Uh, immediately following the Secretary's remarks, we'll have a press availability here on stage and a reception with the Secretary uh, in this room. It's my honor to welcome Dave Slutes. Thank you, Dave. Um, you got my, you, you got my cheat sheet? Sorry about that. He wrote it. Dave, stay in a script. You can That's do right. it. Uh, Add an extra word. <laughs> yes, dear. Gene, twice in one day. Nice to see you again. Yeah, exactly. Hugh, thanks. Secretary Ash, welcome. Chancellor, this is a great room we talked about. I love this place. The place looks great. So I'd like to highlight a couple things that Chancellor has done since joining University in 2017. My fellow Detroiter, that is. We lived about three miles apart back in the day. The partnership's focus on regional development has really kicked into high gear. Last April, Chancellor and the South Coast Development Partnership, we co-hosted a symposium on the blue economy and the Council of Competitiveness and UMass Dartmouth featuring Secretary Ash and hundreds of people were there that day, including myself. Since the symposium, we worked with a delegation seeing the federal government award $600,000 to advance the Marine Science and Technology Corridor. Not a bad start. Last week, the initiative received a Gateway Cities Innovation Award from Mass Inc., also a nice award. And tonight, we're thrilled to hear from the Secretary, Secretary Ash, and the Baker Police Administration regarding <clears throat> their support for this initiative. You know, I keep hearing about a blue wave this fall, but as we, as a private sector guy, I'm pretty sure that this is the right way we're on right here. And already the administration is with its commitment to the transform transformative of the transforming the blue port. All right, start over, Dave. I didn't write this. <clears throat> the right way already with, the, with this administration and its commitment to the transformation, transformative blue quarter project of the South Coast Rail on top of that, right, Gene? <clears throat> and with that, I'm going to shut up now. Chancellor, the floor is yours. Thanks a lot, Dave. Um, so good evening, everyone. Come on, good evening, everyone. I am so excited that you're here at UMass Dartmouth, a tier one national research university, sitting on 710 acres of land, 15 minutes from the ocean and a half an hour from the Cape. This is an exciting day. Uh, before I talk about the blue economy, uh, I would be a bit remiss uh, in terms of being a chancellor if I didn't note something that if you happen to get the Boston Globe, there happened to be a little, or little advertisement in the paper about the bar passage rate of the eight schools uh, within the Commonwealth. 
And so, you know, you had this school like Harvard that was number one, BU that was number two, and then number three, there was this little school down on the South Coast called UMass Law. It's a part of UMass Dartmouth that was ranked third in the Commonwealth. So when we talk about a private college educational experience and public university value, that's what we're speaking to. It may be the blue economy or the law school. Uh, the members of our delegation have done an exceptional job in making the law school happen and helping us to promote the blue economy throughout uh, the South Coast. And a number of them are here today. Uh, we have Senator uh, Rodericks, uh, who's here, uh, somewhere back there. Uh, I think he's at the bar. <laughs> Just kidding. Getting coke. Diet coke, right? <laughs> um, we have Senator uh, Rodericks, who's here. Uh, we have uh, Representative, Representative Pat Haddad from Somerset, uh, Representative Tony Cabral, Representative Paul Schmidt from uh, Westport, uh, Representative Alan Sylvia from Fall River, uh, Representative Chris Markey from Dartmouth, and I thought I saw, but even if I didn't, uh, Representative uh, Carol Fiola from Fall River. They're the reason the law school is here. They're the reason that we're able to push forward the blue economy. Please give them a big hand. When we think about the blue economy, we really think in terms of a corridor going up and down 195 uh, from Providence all the way to the Cape. Uh, we are excited about the possibilities of regional economic development. All of us are smarter than any one of us. The Commonwealth, uh, under the leadership of the um, uh, Baker Polito administration and Secretary Ash, have been building and promoting the blue economy uh, for quite a while now. Uh, some of the things that they have supported uh, throughout their administration includes uh, the $55 million uh, SMAS II building uh, in New Bedford. Uh, they've supported research for the fisheries, uh, grants from the Seaport Economic Development and Clean Energy Center. And um, by the way, there's this little thing that's going on down here that you may have heard of called offshore wind. So that's right. you smoked, this new lung cancer screening could save your life. Visit SaveByTheScan.org. So today, as we go forward to push to promote the blue economy, uh, I want to uh, welcome uh, a gentleman who needs no introduction. You know, they say the greater the man, the shorter the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Secretary Jay Ash. <laughs> Well, it's great to be with you all. I want to recognize uh, Representative Steve Howard on the side here, best dressed in the uh, room. Thank you, Steve. And uh, I don't know if that's Carol Fiola or Ken Fiola that's out there. I'm not sure which. What are you wearing for shoes? Uh, no, that's, that's Ken. So uh, it's great to be with you all. Uh, so many friends um, in the audience. It's uh, great to be with all of you. Uh, very excited. Very excited to be here. Uh, excited for this uh, announcement, but also excited because this is stop nine for me today. Eight, uh, eight stops on the Cape, uh, talking about things like the collaborative workspace in Provincetown, Mary Ellen, uh, talking about affordable housing uh, in places like East Ham, uh, talking about downtown redevelopment uh, in places like Orleans, talking about innovation and entrepreneurship uh, in Yarmouth, uh, talking about dredging in Truro and in, in uh, Hyannis, and talking about uh, opportunities to promote tourism uh, further promote tourism in, in Hyannis and uh, again in Falmouth on affordable housing and workforce housing. Uh, point being that we all have an awful lot uh, going on in southeast Massachusetts including the Cape and uh, today's uh, announcement uh, here tonight um, is a fitting ending uh, to a great day uh, where we've talked about uh, the local economy and how the local economy ties into what happens in the region what happens throughout the Commonwealth and, and leads the world. I am not surprised, Chancellor, by this. In fact, um, when I think about uh, innovation and I think about um, uh, talent, um, I'm reminded of, of uh, Governor Baker's joke when asked about uh, how he best describes why the Massachusetts economy is so strong. 
Um, he talks about uh, the establishment of two great institutions. I think he was talking about Harvard and UMass Dartmouth. <laughs> and then you wait 200 years, except you haven't been around for 200 years, so I'm trying to figure that one out. But nonetheless, the, uh, the story there is that uh, whether you're talking about Harvard, uh, that's been around forever, or you're talking about schools that have been around a little bit less than forever, but have been around for a long time, uh, the innovation and talent uh, that happens in campuses like this and throughout the Commonwealth are really what uh, sells the Commonwealth. In fact, when I talk to businesses large and small here in Massachusetts, and especially when I talk to companies outside of Massachusetts that are considering relocating here, the thing we talk about the most is all of us. It's about the talent that we have here, the country's number one educated workforce, and we talk about the innovation and entrepreneurial spirit of the Commonwealth's residents. Again, number one in innovation, number one in entrepreneurship. Uh, so it's only natural that uh, we continue uh, to look beyond what we have already accomplished and instead look into the future and see where the future direction of innovation and entrepreneurship will take us. And that brings us again back here to UMass Dartmouth. Uh, I had the uh, great pleasure of uh, working with uh, uh, Chancellor Johnson in his uh, previous location and um, learned an awful lot from him um, about uh, technology and uh, gaming, especially. Uh, this type of gaming, not the dealing kind of gaming, um, and was impressed with his understanding of how uh, to take uh, the strength of an institution, in this case uh, uh, his institution in Worcester, and uh, turn it into a national leader. And uh, Becker College in Worcester, little known to many before Chancellor Johnson uh, uh, came there, President Johnson then, um, turned into a national leader uh, in, um, in uh, gaming. When he came uh, to hear, we had a chance to talk, and then he came to my office and said, Jay, I see in UMass Dartmouth the opportunity to work with so many people who have prioritized the blue economy and create the impetus for something that is truly remarkable. I got excited. Then when he gave me the number one tier one university and on all these and close to water, I said, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So. What Chancellor Johnson has said is that um, legislators, uh, business advocates, uh, people who are from other uh, institutions, uh, you all have been uh, working with uh, Baker Plato administration and others uh, to help promote the blue economy. What Chancellor Johnson has said is that, now to use a gaming term, we're all in here at UMass Dartmouth and uh, we want to work with everybody to catalyze what everybody's been doing and collectively move ourselves forward to really be the uh, great region, the great state uh, for the blue economy going forward. So, uh, so inspired was I uh, by that, uh, that I talked to Governor Baker and Lieutenant Governor Polito, and they uh, quickly became uh, champions of this as well. And then I talked to many of the legislators who are here, uh, who have been saying the same thing, that there's something unique here in southeastern Massachusetts that allows us to lay claim to being number one in the blue economy. But each of those legislators, each of the advocates, stakeholders I've worked with, and Chancellor Johnson has said that we need to do more than just lay claim to it. We have to go out and prove it every day. And so uh, that's what we're going to do together. Um, I'm very appreciative of the uh, uh, federal EDA uh, for providing uh, grant funding uh, to us. And um, I'm pleased here tonight, tonight to announce that uh, the Baker Plato administration is making a commitment uh, with our friends in the legislature who enable us uh, to go out and make an uh, impact on economic development uh, throughout every region of the state. Uh, we're pleased to make a commitment of $300,000 uh, towards the effort uh, to propel the blue economy forward here by working closely with UMass Dartmouth and working closely with everybody in the room and everybody who supports us. So uh, to Chancellor Johnson. <laughs> Chancellor Johnson, I want to thank you for rallying us all together. I want to thank you for being the inspirational leader you are. Um, to all of you out there, I um, appreciate the applause. The applause goes right back to you because you are really leading the effort. Uh, we are uh, happy participants in that. Um, it's also a challenge to you. I had an um, eighth grade teacher, Arnie Goodman. Uh, Arnie, I hope you're listening to me. Arnie is dead now. Um, Arnie used to say to me that, um, he used to say to our class that um, every time you point your finger at somebody, your thumb points back at you. And so, the thumbs have been pointing back at me as a responsibility to contribute to this, but I'm pointing the finger at everybody else in this room. 
We all have a responsibility to embrace this effort. Uh, some of us have been working on this for a long time. Um, others um, are new to the game. Whether you've been working a long time or you're new to the game, uh, you need to dig deeper, you need to help out more, because this is our time. This is our time here in southeast Massachusetts. This is our time in Massachusetts to lay rightful claim to that which is ours. And so I ask you all uh, to work with um, uh, community leaders, to work with uh, people like Chancellor Johnson and others um, to make the possible happen. And uh, together I know that we'll be equal to the task. So uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for participating in, in this great effort. And most importantly, um, thank you for making the dream that many of us have had uh, to be uh, the number one place uh, for the blue economy possible. Thanks, everyone. Thank you all. That concludes the program. Please uh, feel free to, to mingle and uh, uh, enjoy the evening. Thank you. Thank you.